Legacy over currency. Great day, beautiful people. Sammy Faraj here. Continue to watch this video. I'd be grateful for that. And that's all I ask you is just to give me a few minutes of your time. I'm going to share a lot of value in this video. I've been sitting in this chair thinking about what I want to share with you guys. And I came to the conclusion that I want to share legacy over currency. What do I mean by that? What do I mean is we live in a world where, as we know, it is temporary, right? We're not guaranteed to live, quote unquote, forever on this planet. So why not create a legacy for yourself, okay? People are passing away left and right. People die at very young ages. People are die at old ages, right? But people are not truly remembered until they pass away, okay? For example, Nipsey Hussle, um, Kobe Bryant, Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, all these iconic figures that walk this planet that left an impact in people's lives that people still talk about till this day. For example, Tupac, right? People still talk about these individuals today. They created a legacy for themselves. Their name lives on after they're gone, right? And I want the same for myself and I want others to be aware of that because we can get so caught up in this in this cycle, this matrix, that we don't really see the bigger scheme of things, all right? I don't know about you, but when I go, I want people to remember who I was because why not, right? Why not? Uh, at the end of the day, it's making an impact in people's lives. And that's truly the message in this video is creating a legacy over currency. What do I mean by that is focus on legacy. The currency will follow. The money will come. But focus on creating a legacy for yourself so people remember you when you're gone. All right. Really, really just. Yeah, it's, a, it's an uncomfortable thing to think. It's an uncomfortable thing to think about. But it's the reality. So why not wake up every single day, regardless of how your day goes Plant a seed in someone's mind that is going to impact them, okay? The reason why I want to put these videos, I want to put thousands and thousands and thousands of videos out on the internet so that one day people, man, like, man, that dude really poured value into me. That dude really cared. That dude, that individual, that man, Sammy Fraud, really impacted the world. And I'm documenting this, documenting this video right now so I can look at it one day and be like, man, what you spoke was absolutely facts, right? Speaking it into existence, speaking it out to the world, holding myself accountable, right? So... I, I highly recommend you creating a legacy for yourself, right? I want to personally reach millions and millions of people, all right? Now, does that mean you have to reach millions and millions and millions of people? Absolutely not. But what it means is you can start impacting the people in within your circle, right? Your parents, planting the right seeds. If you know that they're battling something that you can really help them be aware of because of uh, generational conditioning, you can go ahead and be that person. Plant the seeds. Your wife your kids, your brother, your sister, be the individual that's gonna challenge their thinking, be the individual that's gonna plant the right seeds in their minds so they can grow and sprout over time where it can click for them. Even people you come in contact with, whether you know them or not, someone who may be quote unquote a lower status level than you, take the time to talk to them, right? I give everybody the same amount of respect, the same amount of acknowledgement. I don't care if you're the janitor in the building or I don't care if you're the owner of the building. I'm gonna sit there and acknowledge you, listen to you, hear you out because you're gonna remember who I was, right? For example, a customer. Let's say I don't get a transaction out of a customer. I always, at the end of that deal, at the end of that conversation, I put the business side and I tell them, hey, this is the reality of this world. I go ahead and give them a reality check because I understand that they're gonna go ahead and see me and view me in a different way. They're like, man, this dude is different, right? He just literally just checked my ass, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's me building that type of relationship with people whether they ever see me again or not They're gonna remember who I was because I was I was I was bold enough I had the courage to go ahead and plant the seed in that person's mind and gave them a reality check of what this really is Right for example if somebody's arguing over price or somebody's caught up over the price of the transaction I tell them hey sir, you know at the end of the day, it's all perceived value You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I can literally walk out today and drop dead and I go straight into like boom 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 Giving them reality checks about life and they look at me like man You're absolutely right some customers end up changing their mind and buying some customers still go ahead and go about their way But that's fine because I I had the courage to challenge that person's thinking Thinking, and then from there, they know this person was not normal. This person is not, you know, th th like everybody else. So for me, it's always about legacy. You're going to remember me regardless if you like me or not. All right. And um, that's the message here, right? It's not about, it's not about, um, like I said, legacy over currency. Don't get caught up in the the, the materialistic um, mind conditioning 
uh, that the world has, you know, programmed you to believe is so, so important, right? Put your legacy uh, priority and the rest will follow, right? The house, the cars, the finances, um, the, the life's, you know, the life's joys and all those things. That's the icing on the cake. But remember, legacy over currency, okay? Let Make sure people remember you after you're gone, right? That's the message here, right? Create a legacy for yourself. Be aware of how you can create a legacy for yourself. Like I said, it can be on a small level or it can be on a massive scale, right? For example, the individual that just got killed, uh, the young individual named Ahmed that got shot by the two white guys, right? Um, no, this is not me talking. This is not, I'm not bringing this topic up to bring up any controversial racial profiling topic, but it's, I'm bringing this video up because that kid... There's a legacy for that kid now. People are going to remember his name, right? Because because of the people that he probably impacted around him that valued him that are willing to speak up for him, right? It could have been just two people that had the right connections, that had the right relationships to go ahead and create a uh, legacy for that young man. So don't feel like you need to reach and have a millions of people backing you up because, hey, there's some people that have millions and millions of followers that have no substance within that community and don't ever leave a legacy. But it could be five people that you truly impacted, that you really had a positive impact on. When you're gone, those people are gonna work for you to make sure a legacy is left for you. So I'm gonna wrap it up at there. It doesn't matter if you reach a million people or if you reach one person, make sure you're aware and conscious to create a legacy for yourself for your family because remember legacy over currency i hope this video gave you some value if it did drop a comment drop a like make sure you you know you show love for this video share it with someone that you know can benefit out of it i appreciate you taking time look at me talking i appreciate you taking the time to listen out listen to this video peace thank you